Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and share with you my tips and tricks on how I quit smoking. Something that actually really worked for me. I smoked for a very long time and I just want to share with you my process on how I got free from cigarettes. So considering that it's right around the new year, if you guys are smokers and you are wanting to be free from cigarettes, this video could really help you out. So stick around. I'm about to get into it. But before I do, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot and if so, it's greatly appreciated. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So I know New Year's is right around the corner and there are a lot of people that like to do the whole New Year's resolutions thing and uh, you know get into the holiday and the whole countdown and kiss at midnight and all that stuff. A lot of people go ahead and they make those resolutions to you know either lose weight or start exercising or go for that new career or quit smoking, which you know is a big one. I'm not really a New Year's resolution kind of gal. I kind of feel like the whole New Year's resolution thing might be even, you know, detrimental. Not might, I feel like it is detrimental. I think it could even be toxic to go ahead and have that state of mind where, you know, I, I need to do this because it's the new year and I'm gearing up and, and here we go. I, I always felt it was kind of like um, adding on to if you didn't succeed, it would make it that much worse because it was this resolution that you created yourself for the new year. And that to me just doesn't seem very positive. So this upcoming July, it's going to be two years that I've been smoke free. And I want to start with like how I began with the whole cigarette smoking things. I feel like having an understanding of, you know, yourself is, is a good thing. It's a healthy thing. I'm a big advocate for talk therapy and, you know, just kind of knowing where you're thoughts and feelings, things come from and why you act the way you do or react the way you do, you know, how you perceive things. Having an understanding of yourself is just that extra step in succeeding, you know, in the battle of <laughs> quitting smoking or whatever it is you're trying to do to, to better yourself. Knowing where it all stems from, it's pretty important. So if I look back on when I started, it was about, I was about 16 years old. I was a teenager and, you know, I feel like it's, it's fairly typical. A lot of people that I hung out with at the time, they all smoked and I wanted to fit in. So my starting smoking, was about acceptance. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be liked. We all want that. It's perfectly natural. It's completely understandable. But, you know, looking back on it now as, as an adult and having that self-knowledge, if anyone is your real friend, they're going to be your friend whether you smoke or not. So I didn't really have that when I was younger. I didn't really have that, um, that security, that self-awareness. But, you know, now I have it much more so than I did then, but that's how it really started was, you know, hanging out with people who smoked and I quickly became addicted and I smoked for many years and I would quit off and on here and there. And then there was a stretch I could think of that I quit for, I want to say like seven months. And the reason why I stopped for that amount of time is because I had an elective surgery. I had breast augmentation and it required me to quit for a couple months prior to the surgery and a couple months after. So it was around seven months that I went without cigarettes and I did succeed. I was motivated to do so. I, I really wanted to have the surgery. So I quit. I succeeded in doing so. And then there was one day where I was living with my roommate at the time and she was a smoker and I went downstairs, she was having a cigarette and I grabbed a cigarette and I thought in my mind, it's been several months. I'm going to be fine. I, it's not going to cause any problems, but I got to be honest with you. <laughs> Once you stop, I highly recommend you do not pick it up again because one is too many and a million is not enough because right from that point, I continue to smoke all over again. And relapse is, you know, it's a part of it. It's not an easy thing to get rid of. It's it's one of the most difficult things to quit smoking. So that's something that I also want to stress to you guys. If you do get on this journey and you are able to put the cigarettes down for an extended period of time where you're feeling comfortable with it, do not pick it up again because it is that much easier to get the receptors in your brain going again. And you could easily slide right back into smoking again. And if you're going to go ahead and quit, you want to quit successfully right away. You don't want to have to keep doing it over and over again because if you're like me and you've smoked and you've tried to quit many times and all that stuff, it's, you know, it's, it's not fun. It's not a party. So if you uh, find yourself at that point, don't pick it up again. I wanted to make sure that I said that. I actually have things written down here, which is something that I never do, but I feel like this video is important. So I wanted to make sure that my thoughts were clear and I didn't go off on a bunch of different tangents because that's something that I tend to do too. So I've quit more than once. And the reason why I feel like I succeeded this time is because my perspective was different this time around. It was close to my birthday. It was July. So this coming July, it'll be two years. Like I said, that I quit. And again, yeah, it's another holiday, but 
it wasn't so much that it was just kind of planting the seed that you know I'd really like to be smoke free as a birthday gift to myself but the way I went into it this time was that it wasn't this aggressive like I have to be smoke free by you know XYZ this day this date I have to do it on my birthday it was just it was just the beginning and the reason why I started thinking that I, of course I wanted to be you know smoke free and I thought how great you know I'm getting to what I think I was turning 48 or something like that and I, I wanted to you know start getting healthier it was it was all positive and that's that's really important that's something I'm gonna you know refer to throughout the video so here's the part that wasn't so positive I I'm not a doctor I, I don't have any kind of medical training but I do know my body and I feel like we all have we have knowledge of our bodies and your body can give you a warning and I feel like my body was doing that at the time it was telling me that I was getting to a point where I wasn't going to be able to reverse the damage that I was doing by smoking I could tell because I was starting to wheeze I never had that problem before I was having struggles with my breathing and it wasn't about my allergies it was I could hear it in my lungs there was something that was going on that was changing and it wasn't for the better and I just I felt it in my within myself it was like I felt it like I just knew, like I didn't need a doctor to tell me. I mean, I already knew cigarettes were bad, but I knew that I was getting to a point where it was going to be really bad. So I had that motivation to go ahead and say, okay, I'm ready to start taking the steps to quitting smoking. It wasn't just about the birthday. It was just really feeling like it was time to where it was, I don't want to say scared straight because it wasn't anything that, that really happened but it was enough to where I knew something was gonna happen that's that's how I want to try and convey that to you guys and I just want to say don't wait for any final messages from your body if you are feeling like you are you know, ready to start the non-smoking process of getting free from cigarettes and all that stuff start as soon as you know you can don't don't wait until there's any kind of issue because yeah you get to a point where you, you can't go back and I, I just wouldn't want that to happen for you or for anyone. Certainly didn't want it to happen for myself, so I just wanted to throw that out there. So how I began my process was this. I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't put a big stress on it. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I wanted to just kind of go with the flow because in the past, whether it was you know for the surgery that I was going to do or if I was just you know feeling like I just I need to quit like a resolution sort of thing, I felt like I would I would always fail. I would always fail, and because it was a resolution or whatever the heck it was, I I would just go right back into doing it again, and I would just feel miserable and defeated. And I I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it just as relaxed as possible so that by that that if I didn't make it through an entire day without a cigarette it was okay that's something else that I want to stress to you before I continue on is like please do not beat yourself up quitting smoking is incredibly difficult you have to try and try and sometimes try again it is not an overnight deal I don't want anyone to be too hard on themselves if they don't succeed the first time or the second time or the third fourth or maybe even the tenth or I don't want you to do that anything that you're doing to take steps right here and now to quitting smoking is a success you're already succeeding by planting the seed by making an effort to move forward and getting healthier so just put the negative out of your mind and put a positive spin on it it's something that is a process and it is not easy so I really want you guys to please be gentle with yourselves, be kind to yourselves because it's gonna take a couple of times. Not everyone gets it right the first time. And for those who do, hey, my hat's off to you. It takes several tries. So just keep that in mind as you know you get started with it. Just give yourself a break. And that's what I was doing. I think that was a big part of the success is that I didn't put the big stress and the big weight on it. I just let it be what it was gonna be. So I would get up in the morning and I would have a cigarette with my coffee. It, that was my way I started my day. I didn't want to start off with like uh, not smoking at all. I felt like that would be the big stress. So I went ahead and let, let it be normal. Have my morning, what my normal was at the time, have a hit off a cigarette, do my thing, have my coffee. And then I put on my patch and that's what I used. I didn't like the gum, it would make me sick. So you gotta use what works for you. I, I did the patch. There's Wellbutrin that helps people quit smoking. There are things you can take. I didn't want to do that route. I just, I wanted to, you know, try and find a different way of doing it that worked for me. And there's a reason for it, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So I would go for as long as I could throughout the day. And if I got to a point where I was just, you know, I was jumping out of my skin and I really wanted to have that hit off a cigarette, I would get up, I would go outside, and I would take off the patch, and I would smoke. 
I didn't keep the patch on and smoke. Don't do that. It's not safe. That's dangerous. So I'd take off the patch, I'd wait a little bit, and I'd have a hit off a cigarette, and then I'd start the process all over again. And I didn't get upset with myself. I didn't consider it a failure. It was moment by moment that I was doing this. It was, it was a whole process. I know I'm saying process a lot, but it, it really is. So I don't know what other word to use. So after that, I would go ahead and, you know, as days passed, I would get longer and longer in my times in between smoking and just kind of ease myself into it. And, and if there was a moment where I just took off the patch and smoked all day, okay, I would start the next day and I would just continue to, I wouldn't waste time in between. I, I wouldn't go for a couple weeks here. I'd just start all over again. And that's something that's important too. Once you start the ball rolling, don't give up, keep going. If you happen to stumble, start the next day or within the next couple hours, start as quickly as you can to stay on the path to getting free from cigarettes. You just, you gotta start getting accustomed to it. That's, that's a really big deal. That's a big part of the success right there. Think about this. We weren't born smoking. I know that's, that sounds, of course, obviously, but the point is, is that you had to learn how to do it. So what I did to succeed basically was kind of reverse that. I had to learn how to not smoke. And I feel like for me, that has been the most successful way to get rid of cigarettes is that just kind of learning how to not smoke. So it takes a little bit longer, but you know, think about it. It really, it makes sense. You learn how to smoke. Now you're learning how to not smoke and it's going to take a minute and it's totally fine. And there are some tips and tricks that you can do along the way. So let's go ahead and get into the tips and tricks portion of the program. Cause I feel like this is something that really helped me out a lot too. What I would do for one of my tips would be, I, I don't smoke inside. I didn't smoke inside the house when I was smoking, I would go outside. So let's say I had the patch on and I was feeling just antsy, but I, I wanted to just try and extend the time in between smoking. I would go outside like I would if I were normally having a cigarette and I would take with me, let's see if I have something here to emulate, like, um, let's grab this. I would take, well, I'd take a pencil with me and I would go outside and I would sit down and I would breathe. in through the nose for five, out for five, in for five, out for five. If I had a pencil with me, I would hold it here and just, just breathe until the urge to smoke would pass. And it would. And then I'd get up and I would go back inside. So it kind of felt like I was going along with my usual routine. I didn't feel like um, so completely unfamiliar, like, oh, what do I do with myself now? No, I kept kind of the same routine, just minus the cigarette. And that would help to get rid of that urge to smoke because it wasn't so, you know, fish out of water. What do I do? What do I do? So keeping your hands busy is very important. It really does help. If you knit, great, do that. If you can draw, do that. If you like to journal, write about, you know, your progress through quitting smoking, try writing hold on to things like this, you know, a pencil or whatnot. Something to do to distract you is going to help you. Another thing that you can do that will help you that I did when I, in the first week, I think was the first two weeks was like the most difficult. And what I would do to help me in those moments when I was really craving, but I wanted to go as long as I possibly could was um, breathing in, in rapid succession. So like short, quick breaths, like I'll just show you guys like this. For like, I don't know, maybe like 10, 15 seconds. And, and what it'll do after doing that is it'll give you kind of like a head rushy kind of feeling, almost like the same feeling it emulates from like when you have your first hit off a cigarette, it'll give you a head rush. It's, you know, nicotine, it's a drug. So you feel it in the brain. It gives you a little bit of a head rush. Doesn't mean high or anything like that, but it does do something to you. It does alter you in a way. And we all know that. So breathing like that, when I really, really felt that urge would help me feel like I just took a hit off a cigarette and I would just, okay. And I would calm down. So breathing is a big part of it. It's, you know, it's all about breathing. It's what you're doing when you're smoking. So that's really going to help you out a lot. Another thing that's going to help is the obvious exercise going out for a walk, you know, things like uh, I, we have a treadmill, which is very helpful. I'm, I'm an antsy person. So when I would feel like I was really getting stressed out, I'd get on the treadmill, turn on a program and I'd just walk until 
It was just no longer something I was stressing on and I could calm down. Listening to some music, watching a program that I you know, am really into or getting into a book because I love to read. Anything you can do that's positive and helpful that can distract you from wanting that cigarette is going to help you. Also reaching out to people who care about you. You know, having a support group around you is also going to be something that is incredibly beneficial in the beginning of, you know, getting free from smoking. And if you're around friends who smoke, like for me personally, I'm not a soapbox ex-smoker or whatever you want to call it. It's, that's I don't see myself as ever being that. I'm not going to begrudge anyone a cigarette or whatever if that's your thing you do it but if you really are trying to quit it's probably good to try and like not be around the the smoking at least until you get used to it i guess that's why i wanted to throw that out there so if you have friends who smoke and all that it's it's not about oh, you shouldn't smoke anymore i mean you know if you want to be healthy and quit great and if you don't that's fine too but to give yourself um you know as much space from cigarettes as you possibly can at least in the beginning until you feel like you're you know used to it that you've relearned how to not smoke the the smell is not going to start bugging you for a little while it's going to be familiar you know obviously and you're gonna you know feel that pull i know that i did and if you can't get away or you live with someone who smokes you know if they know you're on that journey they'll try and keep it away from you as much as possible and you know just try and stay the course as much as you can and remember be kind to yourself. If you happen to stumble, if you happen to relapse and have a cigarette, it's okay. As long as you don't give up, as long as you keep trying, you're going to get there. You're going to succeed. You're going to get free from cigarettes. And these things that I'm sharing with you today, they really do work. And I'm someone that when I was smoking, I actually really enjoyed it. I, I had no problem with it. I thought it was great. I, I actually really liked it until I realized that I was starting to have some real problems and it was time to let it go. So another thing that could also help you is just, um, I looked up what happens throughout the process of quitting smoking. And this was something that was kind of like little mini goals. That's another thing that could also be very beneficial. It might seem weird, but I Googled it, how the body changes over time, like weeks and months and whatnot. And you start to notice like your skin will start to look better. Breathing will become easier. You'll feel a lot more relaxed, a lot less tense because it's a stimulant. So you start to, you know, relax as you get used to not smoking, of course. Um, the heart starts to work you know, a little bit better. Your lungs will heal over a year. It takes a little longer for your heart to, to heal completely, but you know, you'll notice that you won't see yellow around your nails or your fingers or your teeth as much. There are things that are going to start to show right away, more blood flow, that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of things that your body will go through and start to improve as you go through the process of quitting smoking. It's actually really fascinating. So that was another thing that helped me to, you know, just stay motivated. What's going to be, you know, next month? What What's going to start healing around that time? What's going to start improving three months from now, four months from now, a year from now? Now, a year may seem like a long time, but you'd be surprised how quickly it passes. And you'll start to see these improvements and that'll be even more um, of a motivator for you. And another thing that I really enjoy now that I, I'm not smoking is that, you know, going out to dinner and knowing I don't have that, I don't have that nagging pull, you know, after I finish a meal to go outside and smoke a cigarette, getting up in the morning and enjoying a cup of coffee and, you know, being able to just enjoy a cup of coffee, going to a, a walk in the mall or anywhere in a public place where you can't smoke and not feeling like, oh, I gotta find a place outside where I can go and have a hit off a cigarette, being at work, oh, I need to find time to take a break so I can go. Cigarettes are now out of the equation. It's no longer a thing that you need to go and do or purchase or have the paraphernalia. It's like you just get free from it. And it really is a tremendous relief and it really does improve the quality of life. And that's another thing is that I don't want you to make it about New Year's. I don't want you to make it about another person or any, I, I want you to make it about you because it is, it's about you. It's about your quality of life. I, I'm not trying to sound like I'm just this Zen thing, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's, but it really is the truth. It's about you. It's about your happiness. It's about your well being. So if you just take it easy, you know, moment by moment, Try not to stress about it. Take the worry out of it. Know that you know, you're know you taking steps every day to get free from cigarettes. You're gonna succeed. Make it about your well-being. You know, Make it a goal for you, something for you to be well, to be happy. And if you stumble and fall, it's all right. Get up and keep going because you can and you will succeed. If I can do it and I actually enjoy smoking and I can enjoy not smoking, 
you can 100% do it too. So anyway guys, just wanted to sit down and share that with you. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, let's talk about it. If there's any way I can help you and continue to motivate you, you know, let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. I know you can do it. If you really want to do it, I know you can do it and you will succeed. That's going to do it for me. Just want to thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all are safe. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy. And as always, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Thanks. Bye.